In today's video, we're gonna teach you how to make these flaming hot suet cakes. They're cylinder cakes for this hanging bird feeder. These are squirrel proof because we use Louisiana hot sauce and cayenne pepper, and the squirrels cannot handle that, but the birds, they don't care. Samuel will tell you all about it. This is Twin Cities Adventures, and in today's video, we're gonna show you how to make a squirrel proof bird seed cylinder. What makes it squirrel proof is we're gonna make it with Louisiana hot sauce and ground cayenne pepper. And birds can't taste that. The birds can't taste it, but the squirrels will be like, ah! First thing you have to do is buy one of these cylinder hangers, and they cost about $17. And all you have to do when you're done is slip the seed cakes on like this, just like in the picture, they fit right on there. Now the cakes at the store are super expensive, so we're gonna show you how to make one and that's for super cheap. Get it? Cheap, cheap. <laughs> we're gonna use a 42 ounce oatmeal container and we lined it with parchment paper. And here we have seven chopsticks. We tape them into a circle and there's one poking out. And then we can just poke a hole in the bottom like this. So, so it stays up right there. We'll pour the seed around the chopsticks and when we pop it out, it'll fit right on the stand. Now here's what you're gonna need. A big pot, eight cups of bird seed is for one cylinder, but in this recipe, we're making two cylinders. So we need 16 cups in total. A 48 ounce brick of lard. Three pound lard, 549. Right there. And 16 ounces of crunchy peanut butter. 219 crunchy peanut butter. And we're gonna use a 32 ounce jug of hot sauce. 289 hot sauce. And a small container of cayenne pepper. Ground cayenne pepper, $1.79. To the pot, we're going to first add the brick of water. Now, we're going to add the whole container of peanut butter. Now, we're going to pour half a jug of hot sauce in there. That's about 16 ounces. We're going to put the whole thing of cayenne pepper in there. Now we're going to heat this up and bring it to a melt. This is eight cups of bird seed. I'm going to pour that in. Eight cups of bird seed. That equals one cylinder. Now we're going to add eight more cups, which is Eight, 16 cups in total, that makes two cylinders with this recipe. Now add the other half of the hot sauce, that equals up to 32 ounces. While it's still melty, you want to ladle up the bird seed mixture and fill it up in the cylinder container, almost up to the tip of your chopstick creation. There's one more thing I should tell you. Make sure you wrap it in a layer of tin foil so it doesn't leak. Now that it's full, let's go pop it in the freezer. Wait for it to harden. Now for the second cylinder, we just found a bucket that was laying around the house and put a bag in it and put the inside with parchment paper. And we're gonna fill this with the second half of birdseed. 
You could use any cylinder shaped container you have. Of anything will work. It just has to be a cylinder shape. Now we're gonna put another bundle of chopsticks in this second bucket of hot suet and just press it down the center and twist it as you go. Now we need to go pop this in the freezer, just like the other one. Okay, time to pop these out now. I just ran this one in the bucket under hot water for about 15, 20 seconds, so then that just pops right out like that and then this one I'm just gonna pull the tin foil down take my kitchen scissors and just cut this cardboard oatmeal container right down super simple And then the parchment paper will come right off also. Just like that. And now you're gonna wanna just take some kind of pliers and grab a hold of this and you can pull this right up out of it. And then you see there's a hole right through the center. And then this one here, I'll just take right out of the bag And then peel the parchment paper right off of that. Now I'm going to leave these chopsticks in here until I use this one. I'm going to put this one on the bird feeder right away so the birds can enjoy that. And I'm going to put this in a fresh bag and put that back in the freezer till next time. Now let's pop this on the hanger. So I'll just take this and go from underneath and just push that right on like that. And that's it, that's all there is to it. Okay, now let's go hang that out on the bird feeder. There's the hook there, so I'll just put this right on there. Let that hang just like that. Here's a sneak preview of our bird feed in stand. We have our homemade suet cakes from uh, our last video. I'll put the link on the side of the screen and we heat the bird bath in the winter so you can see lots of birds on there. These are all squirrel proof bird feeders here. And then we have this little seed here and there's three squirrel proof feeders here. So let's uh, go back inside and wait for the birds to find that. See the squirrel, he just hates the smell of that cayenne pepper and hot sauce, and he will not even take a bite of that. 